Well, if you were enjoying some mild relief at the pump, bad news is the prices are once again ticking upward. The average price for a gallon of unleaded is up five cents in just the past four days. Gas is 3.8 cents more compared to last week, but 19 cents less than a month ago. Experts say the recent rise is partially due to a substantial increase to Los Angeles wholesale gas prices. Okay, joining us now to talk more about these high gas prices, of course, KOSI contributor and AM760 radio host, Mr. Mark Larson. Oh, there you are. I told you so. I told you the prices were going to go up again. They get lulled into this, hey, it's 20 cents, 23 cents over 10 days. Just wait. There's always more. And of course, there, you, you heard about the, the president there. You talked about him. He's taking a hard look at student loan forgiveness. They've been taking a hard look at gas prices and especially the, the, the bonuses and some, some free money to come back to Californians. But, of course, another week passed and they haven't done anything. So, but I, Oh, and they even, even wrapped in a, a, a tax increase they were trying to do. One of the proposals was, mm -hmm. well, we can give some money back, but then we'll also increase their taxes. These are smart people up there, not. Well, meanwhile, we've got a $68 billion surplus they're bragging about. What is that money sitting around for? Well, that's, uh, that's revenue to be spent on other pet projects. You know, it's never, I guess some of it goes into the so-called rainy day fund. You know, Schwarzenegger pushed that for a long time. Get the rainy day fund and these things. Um, but it's always, we see this here locally, too, when there's some extra money, or it appears that way on paper, then there's no shortage of people saying, I got a few projects here in my district, and I want people to remember me when it's election time. So that's where we are. Meanwhile, people are feeling the pain of the pump every time they fill up. You're looking at the... The shot we had there, the B-roll with the the hundreds and the fifties. You know, you see a hundred now. It's like, well, that's about a tank of gas. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, and and it's not done. I mean, you look at this trend again, and we're not even officially cut off from the Russian oil, oil yet. That or they say in Texas, all the uh, the oil in uh, what June, late June. So that's when things are going to get really interesting. And then then the next round of the annual gas taxes that we could have repealed a couple of years ago, if it wasn't for the clever wording on that. Uh, that all kicks in, and it's a bigger inflation-adjusted increase this time July 1st. Well, so, <laughs> with this, I mean, with the stroke of a pen, Gavin Newsom could give us that gas tax holiday, and uh, the numbers, according to Carl DeMaio, $1.21 a right. gallon less that fast. But he won't do it. Well, he's busy grooming himself for president. I mean, let's face it, that's a lot of what's going on here, too. But the fact that they can, they push through so much in the Assembly and State Senate, because they've got to do it there. I mean, Newsom can give a speech, and he did. It's been now, what, months? I think a couple of months since he talked about, we're going to get you at $400. Or, well, then they, they're caught up in, like, I think it's three or four different versions of the let's give them something. You know, one is $200, one is $400, like, like Newsom right. said. But then they get into if you have too nice of a car or if you, if you make too much money. So as opposed to just people who mm -hmm. buy gas, which is everybody. It's the most, uh, I mean, it's, it's non-respecting of uh, people and their economic status. It's everybody's got the same price at the pump. So. Yeah. Well, weren't we energy independent like a year and two well, years funny, ago? Funny you mentioned that. Yes, we were. At least, <laughs> or at least you could see it from there. Some people say, well, we were close or this or that. But uh, all the talk, we bring up Keystone XL Pipeline, uh, Jen Psaki, the press secretary that was. Now she's going to MSNBC. That's what, what happens. They all follow. But she was saying, well, it wouldn't be fully operational yet. Well, it, yeah, it would have been had they had they gone along. So it's, but it's not just that. And Newsom bears some responsibility, and so do the legislators of Sacramento for being anti-stuff that works, fossil fuels, uh, even if you look at nuclear, which is not going to help you in your car. But you know, So they come up with these great press conferences, or they think that they are, and they're all about, we're going to have uh, uh, no fossil fuel burning cars by 2030. Well, good luck manufacturers, they, they just decree it, or we're going to have, uh, what's the latest, uh, a third of the cars sold in California by not too many years down the line would be electric got a real problem with charging stations. Mm -hmm. So, and, and we're trying to, I think it's even like 10 or 20% of what had already been promised in charging stations that, that aren't anywhere near that. So they can decree it all they want, but in terms of the actual infrastructure, good luck. Yeah, so. you gotta have that. Meanwhile, at the, you know, it's like a slot machine at the gas pump. They've ding, 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 been waiting for a little bit of relief. Do you think that maybe the, you talked about the $200 checks or $400 checks per person? Do you think maybe they're waiting till it's closer to election time before they? Nice well, little even, reminder. Yeah, exactly. Hey, they, we're the yeah, big guys. But, they, <laughs> but they don't move that fast anyway. It takes a while. Let's just remember the EDD, the Employment Development Department, with all the unemployment checks. It's better now than it was early on in what year number one of COVID, but it's still not 
perfect, yeah. or the DMV or whatever. So, so California government does not exactly move quickly. They, they all get out in front of the perception. That's what this is right now. I had given them a little plausible denial. Someone says, these gas prices went up again, as they will over the next few weeks. And so will the taxes, and they hope you don't notice. But they'll say, listen, we've been talking about this. We've been working hard on this. I'm just trying to get this through. But there's And it's those Republicans. That always is a good way to, to do it. Or it's just not good for you because the bottom line is they want you to enjoy the higher gas prices. Because the, the people who are in charge in the, in the majority politically figure in their utopia that we'll just all take the scooter to work, we'll walk, we'll, we'll bike, we'll, yeah, we'll, sure. take the, uh, we'll take the trolley and spend an extra three hours coming and going just to make the connections every day. Good luck with that because, you know, like the Sandag proposal, which involves a lot of mileage tax and all, all these mm -hmm. things, even if you have that in 30 years, and this is an example of what goes on with anything in Sacramento, um, in 30 years they still admit that 90% of the people be, be driving their cars. We do you see gas prices then. Yeah. Ugh. For whatever is still running, or you know, they'll probably say right. it like like uh, old lawnmowers or whatever. You can't you can't drive them anymore. Just yeah. wait. So. All right, oh, Mark Larson, you're here Monday through Friday on AM seven sixty. So get gas noon. now; it's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> then it will be later today or tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's I'll be, I'm going to go thought. fill up then. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I brought, I brought a, a can. I'll do, do your car. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of it. Thanks, Mark. All right. Thank you, Mark.